guys and welcome to today's episode. We got some awesome new parts and I'm really psyched as you can see. We got some airlift air suspension kit. We got SPL parts, lower and upper control arms. And in this episode, we're gonna make this car low as heck. In this episode, we're gonna get this car to the ground. And if it's not low enough in our perspective, we're gonna customize it out of it and it's gonna be dropped on the floor. But if you come closer, we have some nice, really nice parts. We have upper control arms, lower control arms from SPL. You can see here, they are with ball joints. Of course, we got the 3H system from Airlift. So we got the front struts, we got the back struts. Of course, the management system. And we also got the height sensors that we're gonna mount. So hopefully, we're gonna do this in one episode. And of course, we got this tank. But we're gonna actually throw that away because I have a really cool idea for another tank position in this car. So stick around and we're gonna make this tractor to a low rider. So guys, we're actually gonna lift up the car in the back first and we're gonna take off the OEM stuff and then actually change it out with the new awesome components from Airlift and the SPL lower control arm and the upper control arm in the back. So stay tuned and I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and see you soon. I'm sorry guys, I actually noticed that my camera shut off and uh, yeah, battery, but we actually have mounted almost both sides. Uh, Robin is still working on his side, so we're gonna help each other out, but I'm gonna try to show you a little bit how it actually looks. And you can see the SPL lower control arm right there. And here you can actually see the strut and then we actually had another control arm right there there you can see it and there you can actually see robin still frustrated uh about his side i think actually uh bolt on his side is actually giving him uh, a bad night but he's putting up the last pieces of uh the lower control arms and everything down there we're actually gonna route the hoses for the airbags uh, up to the audio install and we're gonna I actually have a little bit of surprise there for you I'm not gonna be able to actually uh, show the surprise in this video but it's gonna be something special with the management system all the hoses all the power cables for the audio install so um, keep supporting us and watching our episodes and see what we have in stock for this G. But over next is actually putting this on, on the floor and hopefully it's not gonna air out too much because we don't have any air yet. So, and hopefully we can uh, raise the front up. Uh, so over to the front, I would say, when Robin is finished.
Guys, it's actually the next day here. Uh, time ran out for us and I think we went home two o'clock uh, after midnight. So we wanted to have some sleep. Uh, been working all week and working the whole night for Friday. So rise and shine, it's a Saturday. And as you saw in the time lapse, uh, I didn't talk too much. I figured that most of you actually know how to install air suspension, but we can just go through it, what we actually did yesterday. Uh, as you saw in the time lapse, the front air suspension is installed and the uh, SPL upper control arms. And then we actually have the bags, so the lower control arms from SPL and then the airbags from Airlift mounted correctly in the back. And what I'm actually thinking about right now and why we actually went home yesterday was because we didn't have enough of 10 millimeter hose for the air system. Uh, we actually ran out. So we actually decided to take out everything out of the back and just make this temporary because as many of you know about me that I'm quite impulsive and I want to see results right away. But this is actually how the the back compartment looks right now. I know it doesn't look much and the air tank you see is a used one and that we're not going to use that in this car. The audio install uh, takes up so much space. So I have an idea for the tank and we're not going to do this tank. We're going to do a totally different tank, but this is actually the status right now. And yeah, as you've seen before, the compressors are on the left side behind some beauty panels um, that we already have made. And if you haven't watched that already, I'm gonna put a pin up here. So beauty panels in the audio system up here. But over again to actually just showing you how it actually is connected is that we have the airlift management system here. The electronics, of course, you need power and ground. And then we have an outlet uh, just to for the air to go out when we air out and this is actually going to the tank these fours are of course going to the bags and the controller for the airless system is already in the car and is actually just this one many of you already seen this before it's just with the cable i know that you can actually handle it from your phone uh, through Bluetooth. But what do you say guys? Should we actually air it out for the first time and actually see the beast on the floor? I can't actually wait. I just want to see this dropped on the floor and see how it is. But first of all, I actually gonna do a shout out. Tommy Hall. Thanks for all the comments and you he's always drooling over the VR6, the red one. And here she is, Tommy. Take a good look. I know she's dusty, but you always say that I shouldn't show the car in the videos, but here you go. And of course, I always having the best audio system in the workshop, and that's actually from all my cars. I choose which car I want to play in when the mood hits right. And again, Tommy Hall, you've been supporting the channel from the beginning and commenting, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, Tommy. But over to actually getting this tractor on the floor. So let's do this, right? What do you guys think of the dropped G37? Damn, that slammed to the floor. Woo! -wee. 
Look at that ass. Nice. Damn, guys. I've been a static guy for over like 11 years. But this, wow. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Look at that drop front. Of course, we're gonna try to make this even lower. We want the front bumper to actually scrape the floor when we're done with this. But damn, look at this. Uh, <laughs> look at that camber in the back though. And the toe is not that good. So we have to adjust that onto the car. Um, we're gonna do a wheel alignment, I promise, on all four. But this really really looks good so i would say this is actually everything for today um i know it's a short video but i'm gonna try to keep it short and just give you the best i guess from the content that we have and please don't go away right now because you're gonna see an epic a little b-roll of the car and then you can actually leave this video but I just want to say, before I actually show you the B-roll, thank you for all the support. We're soon actually hitting 300 subscribers. I have the channel for a couple of months now. And I really appreciate the guys that actually comment on these videos. That actually helps me out. And of course, hit that like button. And if you haven't, subscribe to this channel. But in the next video, we're going to move on. Some more epic content from the air suspension install. But this is actually everything for today. And... Now actually over to the B-roll, but as I always say, have a good night, evening or morning, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Hey, doll.